Stockholm, a movie directed by Robert Bordrow based on the true 1973 bank East in Stockholm that became a famous story and gave origin to the term Stockholm Syndrome. For those who aren't familiar with this term, Stockholm Syndrome is a psychological response due to a lot of time being intimidated, where the victim starts to feel sympathy towards the captures. It's very twisted. Yeah, Jesus. I have heard about this story before, but I wasn't familiar with the whole controversy that took place at the time. So this video will just be based on the film itself. So before I started watching this movie, I was in a really bad mood. This film really cheered me up. It's a super fun narrative and this is all due to the fantastic acting from Ethan Wake as Lars, a clumsy bandit that brings up this plan of a bank east in order to save his partner Gunnar, portrayed by Mark Strong. But things start to get really messy, for example one of the hostages is a girl that is on her period and the bandits ask the police for tampons. That's how hot this movie gets and that makes it even funnier. Numi Rapace in this movie is fantastic as well. She plays one of the hostages and she eventually builds a deeper relationship with Lors. The dynamic between the characters and the back and forth between the bandits and the police easily turns this into a super fun watch if you want to have some fun and laugh at random things. The comedy makes this movie soft and serves as a blanket for the dark themes involved in this story. The relationship the hostages build with their captures is something that really gets out of proportion, which is a factor that brings controversy, but here Lars' character, for instance, isn't that bad. As I said before, he's just this clumsy and foolish guy that even forgets to turn off the bank cameras. The runtime for this movie is short, which is something that surprised me, but towards the half of the movie there's some time where you can really feel the pace going down. I felt that, but at the same time I was always entertained because of these characters. But for some people this might be an issue. There were also some plot points that confused me. I don't know if it's related to the real story, but if someone knows more about it, leave in the comments so I can know. The soundtrack for this movie is amazing and oddly fits into the tone presented. The cinematography is good too. Visually speaking, this film looks really good. Taking place in 1973, there's some really good production design here and there. This was a really good watch. I really enjoyed this movie and I strongly recommend it to you if you wanna have some fun. I'll give it an 8 out of 10. Let me know in the comments what did you think about this one. If you like my content, subscribe for more videos in the future. See See you guys.